Okay. So this is the right idea. You're going underneath and through this handoff right here, but there can't be this delay. Look at this delay here by Grayson Allen right there. So now look. Now you're on the other side after this Bulls player is, so it's right to the rim for two. Cannot go up the gut of this down screen right here. This is going up the gut. You've got to chase off his hip this way. The angle of going up the gut is what allows this open three. This is a terrible contest by Brooke Lopez. This player's guarding just fine. You've got to stick with your man in the corner here. Look at this. You come over to try and help out for no reason, and now this man in the corner that you just left is wide open, and it's an easy dunk. Cannot go under a screen when it's this easy to go over a screen. See, you're trying to go under a sc this screen, and there's way too much distance you have to go under. So now that forces Brooke Lopez to have to help. That puts the defense in scramble mode. Open Bulls 3. Okay, what is Giannis doing? You've gotten back to the middle of nowhere. Right now, there's help coming right here with Drew Holiday. Why are you not getting to your man in the corner? So you stand in the middle of nowhere, and now you give up an open three. Not how you defend a cross screen right there. There's your cross screen right there. Javon Carter's got to jam this player as he comes through the cross screen, okay? When you don't do that, now look. Now two people have to guard the player coming off the screen. Nobody's to take Levine easy, too. If you're Brooke Lopez, you cannot be standing here when Nikola Vucevic is standing here. Obviously, now he's wide open for a jumper. If you're playing in the gaps, your feet cannot take you inward. Look at this player right here for the Bucks. Look at his feet. See how they're taking him inward? Now you have no chance of getting outwards. Now it's just a pump-and-go drive. This player's in the lane. Defense is in scramble mode. Open three. If you are going underneath this screen right here, stop. You've got to go directly underneath. You can't flinch like you're going over. Look at how Wes Matthews is flinching like he's going over. Now you're never going to get on the other side in time. Why is this player gambling? Look at this player for the Bucks. Look at this horrendous gamble. So that's how this player is going to blow by you, draw a second defender. There's nobody to take the three-point line now. Again, if you are running drop coverage to defend a ball screen, there can't be this space between the player guarding the ball, and the ball handler. You have no chance of getting over the top of the screen. Now it's a two-on-one. have to get your feet set right here, okay, in a defensive stance. You cannot backpedal. Look at this player backpedaling. So you just gave up an open three now. Not go under a screen when there is this much space for you to go over the screen. It's just you're going way too far under now. So it's a wide open three. Okay, you got to communicate and transition. Grayson Allen's got to say, I've got ball, so Brooke Lopez knows to get it the heck away from the ball and find somebody else to guard. But look at this. you got two people guarding the ball. So, of course, there's now a Bulls player wide open. What is Wesley Matthews doing? You are guarding this Bulls player. How do you fall asleep on this Bulls player this much? You are standing in no man's land when your man is at the three-point line. So now you have no chance of getting back out. What is Bobby Portis doing? You're standing in the paint. Your man is here. Well, yes, you give up an open three. What? Not open your hip right here. Look at this defender opening his hip. Okay, you've got to guard your man straight up one-on-one, -on -one, closing off your hip. Okay? Because you're going to just walk right into this screen when you guard like that. George Hill is leaning towards the screen. That will destroy you. Look at him lean towards the screen. So now this player is going to blow right by you the other way for two. Cannot guard with your back to the sideline. Your back needs to be to the baseline. When you guard with your back to the sideline, you're just asking to get beat back door. That collapses the defense. Open three. Standing in total no man's land when you're defending this player. You cannot have to move your feet up like this. Look, look how this Bucks player's got to move his feet up. That's how it's going to be an easy pump fake and go drive into the lane. Draw help, open Vucevic three. All right, Drew Holiday gets switched on to Nikola Vucevic right here. Okay, stop. If you're Drew Holiday right now, you've got to initiate contact and battle for real estate. You cannot just let Nikola Vucevic go all the way inside the paint and chill in the paint. Look at this. Now he's got you sealed now, and it's just an easy two. For Drew Holiday here, just get back to DeRozan. Look at this gamble right here. So now you're off balance. Now DeRozan's going to be able to create all this space, and now it's just bully ball and a mid-range jumper and one. Cannot play this far off of the ball handler if you are running drop coverage. Look at the look at you can't have this space. You have no chance of getting over this screen now. All right, Javon Carter's doing a nice job guarding defensively, but look at look at this space Zach Levine creates. Look at this little look at that little crevice of space Zach Levine just created. That is all it takes for Zach Levine to get over this screen before you, and now that draws Brooke Lopez and an open jumper. If you want to run drop coverage. 
There can't be the space. You have no chance of getting over the screen with that space. None. And now DeRozan's open. You have to stop and get your feet set at some point. Look at this player backpedaling. Right now, you got to stop. Feet set, defensive stance. This player's feet are never set. So now this player's going to uh, just go right past you for two. I mean, if you're Brooke Lopez, you have cannot sag on DeMar DeRozan. I mean, he is like the best mid-range shooter in the NBA. You've got to get up and figure out a way to, to face guard him. Because if you just keep sagging and sagging and sagging, he's going to take his shot that he's amazing at. Okay, again, at some point, you've got to get your feet set and be in a defensive stance. This Bucks player is never, ever getting his feet set in a defensive stance. This never works. If you are switching this ball screen, fine. Switching back while the player already has the ball, uh, no. Okay, if you're Drew Holiday here and you're going under the screen, you've got to go straight under. You cannot flinch like you're going over. Look at him flinch right there. That means you're not getting the on the other side in time and Zach Levine's open. This gamble kills you. Look at Drew Holiday right here. Watch him gamble right there. So now you have no chance of getting over the top of the screen before Zach Levine. That draws a second defender. Now Andre Drummond's catching this way too low. This Wesley Matthews gamble kills you. We're going to have to zoom in to look at it. But here he goes guarding DeRozan, okay? Instead of being able to contest this shot, Wesley Matthews chooses to gamble. Look at his left hand, right? See that left hand? You can't contest now because you're gambling. So DeRozan sticks a mid-range jump. If you are running this kind of ball screen defense, you've got to have backside help. This player's got to creep up here. If the ball gets swung back here, you've got to recover. But if you allow this pass to get made, boom, bulls have numbers. Someone's going to be wide open. What is Grayson Allen doing here? Why are you opening up your hip like this and giving this Bulls player this space right here? He obviously takes it, blows past you, draws a double team, open three. Down screen, Drew Holiday is going to do what you cannot do. He's going to go up the gut of this down screen as opposed to going this way. So you obviously then give up an open jumper based on the angle of going up the gut. Totally unnecessary double team here by Giannis. Drew Holiday's doing a great job guarding one-on-one. -on -one. Why are you coming to double? I mean, it's just senseless here. Of course you now give up an open three. What is Brooke Lopez doing here? DeMar DeRozan's dribbles picked up. You're not helping. You're not doing anything. Drew Holiday's also doing fine right now guarding the ball. Get to your man. Why are you standing there?